California is struggling to contain its eye-watering debts with welfare programs, schools and universities facing billions in cuts. One massive money-saving measure could be the end of the death penalty, which costs taxpayers hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Artis Medina Kochnova reports now then on the growing calls to use that money on saving instead of ending lives. In his 20 years as district attorney of L.A. County, John Van de Kamp was involved in the conviction of a good number of people who were sentenced to death. He says with years of legal wrangling, keeping people on death row doesn't come cheap and is a constant drain on resources. You try a death penalty case, you have to have a jury that's specially qualified to hear it. So you basically have two trials. And it's, it takes a very long time to get a jury selected and to go through the jury process. You also have to have special counsel appointed. And then there's an automatic appeal and there's a cost of appeal. All these procedures make the death penalty a big and expensive business for the state. Since 1978, taxpayers have spent more than $4 billion on capital punishment in California alone, or about $308 million for each of the 13 executions carried out since then. And with the average costs of keeping a person in prison at around twenty to $50,000 a year, this coming November, California is set to vote on whether to scrap capital punishment in favor of life without parole. Today, in times of deep economic recession, the debate is shifting from traditional arguments about the morality of execution and focusing instead on the cost effectiveness of the state's death penalty program. Ronnie Sandoval is among those Californians who stand for an end to the death penalty. Her faith in the justice system was shattered when her 16-year-old son Arthur was wrongfully convicted. She now believes the money spent on capital punishment can find a better use. Put more cops on the street, put more police officers trying to solve crimes. I mean, there's a lot of places where the money we save can go to where it would actually benefit the community. Activists claim dropping the death penalty puts California on track to save $1 billion in the next five years. The money desperately needed by the state now running a $16 billion deficit. However, some say dropping the death penalty could prove difficult because of the special interests involved in what's being dubbed the prison industrial complex. That's an industry that is not serving anything right now except for special interests. We're at the point now where if we uh, continue to keep this hunger for death, for justice, what we're going to be doing is cutting those people off, the honorable law enforcement uh, people, from their pensions. With the state of California facing bankruptcy, it seems its moral compass is being guided by the draw of cash, not ethics. Madina Koshino, RT, reporting from Los Angeles, California.